Question 24 says, John walked um, a distance of 9 km from home to the market. He then walked back home. The whole journey took a total of 3 hours. What was the average speed for the whole journey? Now, the first thing you need to realize is John walked straight to the market and he spent 9 kilometers. He then walked back from the market back to the house. This is the house. Okay? Then that's also 9 kilometers. So you know that the total distance is going to be 9 plus 9 and that will give you eight kilo, um, 18 kilometers. Now, remember your speed, it's what? Um, total distance over what time taken. So this is going to be 18 divided by 3 hours. So the final answer here, it's going to be 6 kilometers per hour. So that's my final answer. And the correct answer here, it's um, C. Okay, so having solved that, now question 25 says, two sisters shared 3,600 in the ratio of 3 is to 5. What was the difference in the amount of money received by the sisters? Now, sister 1 to sister 2 shared 3 is to 5. Okay, so to get it, it's going to be 3 over, for sister 1, it's going to be 3 over the total, which is 8, multiplied by 3, 6. Now, um... The one that eight here into one eight into thirty six is going to give us uh, four fifty. Three times four fifty is going to give us um, that um, one three fifty. Now, so sister two is going to get um, five over eight times three six over one. Now, eight here into one eight here is going to give us um, four fifty. So um, five multiplied by four fifty is going to give us. Um, it's going to give us 2, 250. Now, the question says, um, what was the difference in the amount? So, it's going to be 2, 250 minus 1, 350. So, when you subtract it, you're going to get um, 0, 0, 22 minus 13 is going to give you 900. So, our final answer is 900 shillings. So, the correct answer here is... Uh, so, question um, 26 is the following line has been constructed to meet a point X. What is the measured angle of WXZ? So all you need to do in this question is place your protractor here and uh, measure its angle. So uh, when you measure its angle um, with your protractor, you're going to get 75 degrees. So um, the next question says, a salesperson is paid a monthly salary of 9,000 shillings. She's also paid a commission of 10 percent for all the goods sold, sold above 10,000 shillings. In a certain month, her total earnings were 10,500 shillings. What was the total sales of goods that month? Okay, so the first thing we need to get is the extra amount she got on commission. So, commission it's going to be what? Now, uh, remember uh, her total salary was 10,500 minus her basic salary, which is um, 9,000. So that will tell you she received a total of um, 1,500 shillings. Now, having gotten this, um, you need to now um, establish the amount extra that she earned. Because recall that the, the question says she's, she gets 10% uh, on sales above 10,000. So sales above 10,000 to end commission of 1.5 let's call it what x so um to get our x we do 10 over 100 multiplied by remember anything she sells above 10,000 uh, which is x she's going to get what 1,500 so if we're looking for our x our x is going to be this would be uh cross multiply 1.5 times 100 this is going to be 15 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, divided by 10 so this is going to be zero cancel zero. So this is going to give us 15,000 shillings. Now, remember this is sales above 10,000. So that means because she earned one five for sales above 10,000, total sales will be 10, 000, um, that's um, 10,000 plus sales above 10,000, which is now 15,000. So plus 15,000. So this is going to give us a total of what? 25,000. So you can see because she sold 25,000, she earned a commission 
of um, 10,000 plus, um, that's 9,000 plus 1,5, giving you a total of 10,000. So the correct answer here, it's um, C. So if this is your first time, if this is your first time of coming to this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to click the notification bell as we solve more questions. So uh, question 28 says, the tourist traveled from Mombasa to Nairobi by bus. The bus left Mombasa at 1.45 p.m. and took nine and a half hours to arrive in Nairobi. What time in 24 hours clock system did the bus arrive in Nairobi? First thing you need to establish is 1.45 p.m. is the same thing as 13.45 hour. Okay. Now, having done that, nine and a half, that's... Um, nine and a half is the same thing as nine uh, um, as 13 minutes so we are going to sum 13 um 45 and we're going to add 9 30. so when you add 45 to 30 remember the maximum is 60. so this is going to give us 75 so that's 60 um 60 and 15 minutes so you put the 15 minutes and carry your 60 which is now what one hour so this is going to be 1 plus 13 that's 14 14 plus 9 when you add 14 plus 9 you're going to get 23 so this is going to be 23 15 hours final answer so the correct answer here it's a uh, d so question 29 says a cylindrical Thin has a diameter of 14 cm and a height of 30 cm. The curved surface area of the tin is completely covered by a label. What is area? Now, curved surface area, the formula for your curved surface area is going to be that uh, 2 pi r multiplied by h. Now, if you have to draw that cylinder, okay, this is what the cylinder looks like. Now, because the diameter is 14, you know that the radius is um, 7. So, this is the height. The height is um, 30. So, this is going to be 2 times 22 over 7 times radius, which is 7, uh, multiplied by um, the height of the cylinder, which is 30. So, 7 is going to cancel 7. You have um, 2 times, that's 30 multiplied by 44. So 4 times 0, it's 0. 4 times 3, it's um, 12. 4 times 0 is 0. 4 times 3 is 12. So this is going to give us 0, 2, 3, and 1. Final answer. So the correct answer, it's um, 132 cm square. 